Hello everyone. Good morning. Thanks for joining in. So today we are going to see some 21 important transactions which we do for SAP HCM S4 HANA OM module specific for organization planning configurations and settings. Okay. Already we have talked about for one of the earlier episodes what are the different transactions, main transaction codes for your uh, OM. Okay. So that is like your PPOC, PPOME, all those things you are already aware of. But there are certain transactions which you may not have frequently using, but you can start using them once if you are in whether you are in implementation of the support browser, it doesn't matter. So those 21 transactions, some just we try to understand what are the meaning of those, and we will say that. Okay, so let me go to the my SAP system quickly. So let me share my screen. Yeah. So this is my SAP SAP HCM S4 HANA system. So we will start with the first transaction code for today. That is triple O T. Okay. O O O T. Otherwise, you can see this transaction is uh, for used for maintaining all kind of object types. Okay. So whenever I'm saying an object, you have to think about from a SAP HCM OM organization management point of view, what are the different different objects? Okay. So S is one of the, our favorite object. If you might be knowing S P O C K, which we already talked about. S stands for position. Then P stands for what? So anyone? So P here we is for person. Okay. So similarly, for every transaction, there are different different objects. How these are maintained? Those are the different object types. We can say, if you see here, everything around 159 objects are there, but you may not be using all in your project. Okay. But it is worth explain going through them. Okay. There is a lot of objects which you may not be using directly. Okay. But those are existing in our database. Okay. The backend database. Okay. Similarly, another one of the object is a o that's for or unit okay so that also will be finding from here okay and similarly another one which is more popular c right c stands for not call center it is a little tricky c for job here okay so next one i'll be coming to the cost center stock which i was talking about k stands for your cost center okay not c okay so these are the uh, five major uh, object types when we use it, but there are certain things you can always explore the entire group. Okay. So if you are interested to check it out, okay, so let me know and you can post your comments if you are any require any kind of a help. Okay. But these are the most commonly used uh, object types in our SAP HCM OM module. But this is one of the transition where you can, you can directly check out those details in here. Okay. So here, suppose I'm going for a particular transaction, right? Let me go to a particular transactions here, right? So what we can do, let me go to the system once again. So let's say I will go for S, that means position. So if you select that object and if you want to select what are the different, okay? So they're saying to select only one entry. So I think I have selected multiple entries. So for that reason, it is not showing. So let me select one again. And if I double click on this, we can see for a particular object S, we have a essential relationship means S to your O. We already know position belongs to a particular org unit that is an A003 relationship. That also you can find here. Okay. You might be updating this uh, from a back means your data point of view, but you may be thinking where exactly or these are defined. Okay. So these are all details you'll be finding in this transition triple OT, O O O T, which is used for maintaining all of your object types. Okay. So all the details you'll be finding from here. Again, so if you want to see the what kind of evaluation path it is undergoing, so you can see this is the evaluation path SDESX. So that is staff assignments along org structure. Okay. The status vector is one. If you have a query what is the status vector that will be an upcoming video stay tuned for that and so we will be discussing and this is one of the structure search also you can do so in this way you can apply the same principle for all other object types okay you can see for every object type we have a abbreviation we have a value abbreviation okay so there are a couple of things you can see for use for applicants that is for recruiting module in uh, sap hcm okay there are certain okay so there are everything is an object you can see. Okay, location, business event, 
using LMS or learning solution module, you'll be using this. So around 78 objects are here. You can see all the stuff. Okay, you can ex explore all the things. Okay. Now we will be going to the second transaction for today. That is the second one, is an easy one. Slash N O O N R. Okay, this transaction is used for number range maintenance. Okay, this number this is a number range maintenance, if you can see. And we can change number range. We can create our own number range. We can check the current status of the number range. Okay. So we can see for our internal number range, this is the current status. That means for this, we have the descent object is this. Okay. So all of your personal planning object, okay, from an OM point of view. So we have this is the number range for internal number range. It means it is generated whenever, whenever you are creating any objects specific to OM module. Okay. So this is the transaction. Again, once I will be telling O O N R, that is a transaction for number range. NR starts for number range. Okay, you can remember that. Similarly, the next transition code, the third transition code today for this. Plus N O O N C. Okay, this is a transaction which is used for number assignment for all kind of a plan versions. You know the plan. What is a plan version? So basically, we have always a current plan, or you will be having some future plan or your previous plans and all. So generally, for all plan versions, we have here. If you are having a number assignment for all of your plan versions, that you can utilize this particular. Uh, scenario so if you're setting it to a x you can assign numbers across different plan persons okay uh, so you might not have used this in your project but i will recommend you can explore this as well okay these are not very popular topic in sap hcm om even i have not seen any interviewer asking going so in depth right but you can if you're interested you can always explore these are already there many of the companies uh, they are not using it but it is worth investing your time to go through it. Okay. So there are also some reports you'll be finding uh, RHCO PLPT, which will be comparing your plan version. And if you want to copy your plan version, you can utilize RHCO PL00. That is your copying the plan version. Okay. You can try this and let me know what is your results. Okay. So now the next one is understanding the plan version itself. Okay. Slash N O O P V. P V stands for plan version. Okay, so if I go here, so at present the current plan is always active. Okay, you can see that is where this is where exactly you'll be able to see your plan version. Okay, so now coming back to the next transaction slash M O O A P, that means your active plan version. Okay, suppose you had to see this is your ploggy ploggy. Okay, that is just uh, you might be knowing OMPA transition. So if you are uh, basically whenever you are doing that, your uh, integrations, right? So we have a ploggy orga. So if you're having a ploggy ploggy, that means your plan version. So here the value abbreviations talks about the current plan. That means you're using current plan. This is your active one. Okay. So this is again, we have a transition. So easy transition, OOAP. The next one is an interesting one, slash N O O I T. Okay. OOIT, which stands for all of your info types related to your uh, OM module. Okay, one of my students uh, she recently got an interview question in her from I think it's a TCS or some other company I forgot. But this was a question she was asked: What are the different uh, info types available in the SAP HCM OM module, organization management module, right? So you may not be directly utilizing this as a, by entering this info type number, just we do for PA module, like right? we have an info type uh, six for address, info type nine for bank details. We may not be using in that way, but in the objects, whatever you are using, you would be having a dedicated info type number allocated to every objects we are having. Okay, you can see object relationship, which mostly we use it, right? So this is around 270 plus objects are here for info types are here. And for every info type, you will be seeing there is a time constraint. Okay, what kind of time constraint is in the assign and why info types per object type. Okay, so this is a, a detailed way you can explore it. Okay, so this is I will recommend to go through. This is a transition called OOIT. Okay, now let's come to the next transaction that is OOSU, that is subtypes. Okay, so if you go to the particular transaction, you can see for every info type. Okay, what kind of subtypes you are having? Okay, so you have a 
these are the different subtypes or the relationship types you can see here okay these are existing there are around 600 plus entries right a001 a002 a003 so all the database it's a kind of a database so you can see for this particular info type what are the possible subtypes okay so this is the way it is accessible you don't have to search anything in any other documentation rather come to directly to the this particular tab a particular not a table the transaction code and directly you can explore all the subtypes which are available in the your om model if i go a particular if i choose a particular uh, info type line item and if i want to see i think it is not coming i think because i have selected multiple entries again so let me select if any of one of them okay i can check the time constraint so for this the time constraint is a three because it's a course okay even your lms module in sap hcm traditionally we call it enterprise learning or lso learning solutions they also follow a similar kind of a structure okay so here we can see the course relationship in the main event so in that we have a time constant three okay so we can explore from here directly so let me go back to again to the next transaction code that is your after understanding the time constraint sorry basically the subtypes the next transition code is class and OOVK. Okay. OOVK stands for all of your uh, uh, relationships mostly. What kind of relationships we are having and SAP maintains all these things. So 002, mostly we use it, 002, 003. And if you want to see what does it mean in this, right? You may not be, you do not require any configuration as such, just for your knowledge, I'm sharing all this things, which is just to understand, right? And what kind of data allowed relationship okay for a002 you can see b002 it is o to o s to o that means the org unit to position okay only okay and if you're having any external relationship for this we'll be able to find out here and if you time any time constant related stuff you'll be finding here okay what kind of time constant you are having for this kind of an object okay and the abbreviations okay all the things you'll be finding here okay so this is also in one of the key transaction code you don't have to actually remember but you can refer this okay instead of you can i'll be providing the entire list what of the 21 transition which is used for all plan or organization plan configurations and setting okay that is the relevance here okay so the next transition in this context will be slash m o o s s o o a s it is called aspects okay so this is an aspect like uh, for what purpose you are using so it can be your organization planning and development it can be training and event management it can be work center and job description room reservation planning so there can be anything like that but let's say we are using focusing more on the organization planning and development okay so if i go here this is we call it aspects here okay if i go to that it might be a new term for you but it is interesting again so we can have a plan version for aspects as well suppose i'm talking about one aspect okay so in that we have these are the three aspects again for with the three plan versions current plan version we are using so for our planning this is the different three plan version we are having okay suppose if i'm choosing any of this and you can also check it out what kind of object types and info types per aspect okay so aspect is here triple zero one you can think of it like a module you can say okay so it is a uh, from a overall the uh, landscape if you think okay om is one thing but if you think about organizational planning and development as an aspect, okay. So what are the other things we will be already have seen those are the, those aspects like it can be training and event management, okay. So if you see that particular aspect, mostly the learning solution part, you'll be also seeing a couple of things here, okay. So this is the current plan. And accordingly, if you choose the particular thing, particular aspect, okay. So you'll be finding these are the different uh, object types, okay and info types okay per aspect aspect is you can think simply as a module you can say so here we have a training and event management which is a module or traditionally it is also known as lso so the entire list actually sap maintains in this kind of a table which you can access without going to sm30 directly you can access all the things aspect from oas if you are finding it uh, let's say very new just type new in the chart right so this is one thing we are talking about aspects the next one is another transaction here the next transaction code for today is o o p p o o o p p o m set 
M S C T. Okay, if you go there, so this is a transaction for PPOM setting. Okay, so this is again a switch, all the switch as per your requirement. Okay, it is again the T double seven S zero for that table. What are the settings? This is just a sub table for that. Okay, you can directly also go there. So now next transaction is an interesting one. Already we are aware of. Okay, so O O V two. This transaction code will take you to the directly to a system table where we exactly maintain the T double seven S zero. That table we maintain already the popular one. If you see Ploggy, generally for OMPA transaction we use it. Okay, OMPA into integration. So Ploggy Orga, you might be knowing the Ploggy Orga is X. That means our integration switch is active. Okay, so this is the transaction for maintaining the table T double seven S zero. The next transaction code is slash n o o p p okay so this is a transaction we use for any kind of a consistency check of our uh, okay for our uh, report okay if any object is missing which is there in the om or it is missing in pa there is also a corresponding report you can tell me what this is already covered in one of the reporting session of OM. Okay, you can tell me what is the corresponding report name. There is a report name also. Okay, that I'll be expecting from you. So now the next one. So this is for create uh, any kind of consistency checking for your report. The next transaction is uh, OOCR. Okay, slash N O O C R, and this is used for setting up the PD transport connection. Okay, so this is again a switch. Okay, so you can see that there is a transport switch. So that is required for your again. Uh, you can tell me why it is required TRSP, and you can also read the documentation part if you're interested for this. Okay, you can go through it. Now coming back to the next transaction, slash n o o d t or o o d t. This is for data transfer. Okay. So if you are having some data transfer hmm, from legacy, okay, you're doing a migration, you can utilize this transition code OODT. Okay, you can execute and you can find out what it is. Okay, so for this particular report, right? The next transition is OOMB. Okay, so the next transition is OOMB. OOMB stands for creating sequential file for PD. Okay, so whatever the you are having your data in PA OM. OM basically personal planning data records. If you are to transport to a sequential file, you can utilize this particular report. That is for you can put it your evaluation plot, status vector, whatever is required. Okay, this three terminology is very important. Maybe I will be asking even on the previous one of the upcoming sessions. Okay, I will be evaluation path already have conducted one session that you can find in the my learning academy. Will be finding that status vector and display depth. Okay, and what is the status overlap? Okay. I'll be explaining in the upcoming session. Stay tuned for that. So the transport, this is we use uh, for personal planning data record to a to maintain in a sequential file. Okay, so this is I'm not executing, but I'm just giving an information here. But uh, you can try and let me know. Okay, how does it work, and you were able to execute or not? Okay. So the next transaction is OOMW. OOMW. This transaction is for displaying and editing sequential PD data set. That's the personal development and all. So that if I execute here, let me check it out. I don't think there are any data in my system. Okay. Otherwise, this will come. Okay. So the next transaction is OOHQ. OOHQ. This transaction is used for transferring all the assignment in batch input for input type one. Okay. This is for integration between PLOG and PREL. This true switch. Okay. So this is again a common. There is a corresponding report also, which also can take you the same screen, whatever we are seeing now okay so that is something you have to tell me which report was that already we have discussed it in one of the previous om reporting session okay now after understanding this the next transaction is uh, oo framework cost oo this is a little long transaction code okay oo framework cost c u s t which is again you can utilize uh, okay so let me check it out yeah, this is the entire hierarchy framework you can see for entire. Okay, so you can see organization, suction planning, training need and plan. So whatever object module you are using accordingly. Okay, you can check here. Okay, and uh, this is used for your hierarchy framework customization. So ideally, we do not do such changes here. Ideally, okay, 
but you will find the entire thing here okay suppose if you're choosing a particular okay stop let's say this is a standard hierarchy i'm using okay uh, general attributes organization and staffing right and if i go to an icon legend okay i think uh, let me check so you can see all the icons are defined here okay so you might be thinking in om which icon is meant for what okay this is where you can see a couple of them okay chief vacant position unoccupied position obsolete position object to be added object is removed everything is well defined here okay similarly same goes with attribute scenario you're defining all the details for PPOC, PPO, ME, PPO, SC, which you have already discussed in the main session. Okay. So these are transaction code. These are here defined here clearly. Okay. Similarly, what are the request definitions and all the details you'll be finding in this transaction. Okay. So this is an interesting uh, transaction. So you can remember it's a long transaction also. Right. So you can see also there are some definition of every interface object service around 133 are there okay attribute service also you'll be finding or respected to that okay you can go there inside and you can check the evaluation path technical depth column group everything for every object services okay so that is something you have to say here in the in this particular transaction the next transaction code is object manager customizing which is again uh, commonly we use it so o o o b j b j m a n c u s t m a n c u C U S T. If I go there, so you can see here uh, again similar stuff. The object manager customizing. So whatever, okay, what kind of object you will be able to manage? Whether you will be doing a single selection or multiple selection, okay, those kind of control, okay. So you can do that from this particular screen, okay. So this is where again, if you go to search tool again, is it again SAP defined? Okay, so this is how they have defined all the search node and all the objects you can see here. Okay, suppose you are selecting a particular scenario, and how does it look? Okay, you can see there. Okay, what is the header and how does the color look? This is a little technical, I understand, but good to know all about it. The next transaction is OOMT slash N OOMT, which is all about your actions. Okay, so all of your actions you'll be finding here all the there are around 42 okay creating equipment creating company creating vacancy creating a task creating company creating a location creating a resource okay mostly these are training and event management and latest stuff mostly you can see here okay so we can find them here okay create position also we have s right this is an action okay if i go to an action individual maintenance you'll be finding like this create position then this is the input type this is the object okay this is series you can find it out here okay and the respective uh, details here okay so these are all technical stuff okay but it is worth going through individually if you have not seen this earlier okay so if you're an experienced consultant maybe you are having 10 15 years of experience or 20 plus years experience if you have not explored just let me know <laughs> because i also explored it after, after a long time these things which you, initial, initial four five years of implementation i have never gone through this kind of a transaction codes right which will happen i explain let me explain all the stuff right so let me go to the last transaction for today that is our oopr that is used for basically authorization profile maintenance okay so i do not have an authorization unfortunately in the system okay but you can check it out with uh, if you are having the same issue just go to sc53 and make uh, this screenshot of the transactions maybe you can then uh, send it to the sap based system if you want to explore that particular transaction that is used for oopr is used for authorization profile maintenance so in short we have seen rapid fire like style we have seen 21 different transactions especially for OM, organization, plan, configuration, and settings, okay? We have not discussed, there are so many other transitions also for OM, right? Which we'll be discussing in some of the coming sessions, but this is something you have to understand, right? 21 transitions for today, and quick and fast, and in the upcoming session, we'll be seeing uh, there are certain, uh, from a maintenance point of view, from the OM, okay, there are some key transitions, and there is something called extended maintenance transaction. We'll be seeing that in the upcoming sessions. Okay. If you like this video, you can share with your friends who are looking for it. And like and subscribe the channel. Thank you very much for joining in. Stay tuned for the upcoming sessions. Bye-bye.